Hello, this is Chapter Seven. We are going to talk about reflection and refraction. What is reflection? If you have a flat surface, when you have a light beam shining on this surface, what will happen? There's another beam that will come off and go this way, and this is called reflection. Here's what we are going to do. Over here. I'm going to draw a, ver a line, vertical line, 90 degree to the surface, and we call this line normal. The angle between the beam that is shining in is called incidence beam, and therefore this angle over here is called, let's call it theta. So theta is called the incidence. Angle. There's another angle going out. Let's call it phi. So what happens is the angle that the incident beam getting in will be equal to the angle of the reflected beam that is going out. So in this case, theta is equal to phi. That is called the law of reflection. So not always that we have a very smooth surface. For example, if the surface is not very smooth, okay. If you use a microscope and you look into it, magnify it, what you're going to see is, if you magnify it enough, you're going to see it rough. Okay. When it's perfectly flat, we call that specular reflection. When it is not perfectly flat, we call it off specular reflection. Sometimes we call it diffused reflection. That means when you have a tiny laser beam coming here, reflected out instead of a tiny beam, it's going to smear. It's going to go like this. So this is called off specular reflection. There's another property of reflection that is the incident beam, the normal, and the reflected beam. So those three things are in the same plane. What do I mean by that? Okay. So I have a table over here, for example. If I have a beam coming out from here and reflect it out, okay. So the normal is over here. These three lines should be in the same plane. When you have a beam coming from this side, it cannot be reflected out and come to us here, come to our eyes, or it cannot reflect to the other side of the table, okay. It must be in the same plane. If you are entering from this edge. Then it should be go out from this edge. It cannot go out from the other side of the table. So let me repeat that again: the incidence beam, the reflected beam, and also the normal. Those three lines should be on the same plane. So that is called reflection. And there are many cases that you have seen reflection. For example, in the morning when you look at the mirror, that is reflection. Okay. So what is new about it? If the surface is not flat, what will happen? All right. So let's look at typical ones. All right. Does this look familiar? This is a convex mirror. So we are going to try to learn how to draw the diagrams for reflection. What we have seen is. We have seen a surface, a beam getting in, and a beam coming out. It's called a reflected beam. What happens if the surface is not flat? Okay, so I'm going to call it this way. That means the other side is a metal. Okay, so if you have a beam coming like this, shining in, it's going to spread out. It's going to reflect it out. Over here, you look at this 
convex mirror. Why do we use that? Because based on here, we can see a bigger angle. So when we put this little convex mirror in our um, flat mirror, we can see a bigger angle. Sometimes we put this little mirror to see the blind spot. Okay, so that is about reflection. Next, we are going to talk about what refraction is.